let's have comparison among these three authority, responsibility, and accountability on these four bases: meaning, delegation, origin, and flow. Right? Meaning. So, what is the meaning of authority? I have already explained you. Authority is the right to command. Okay. So, I just write down here in short: right to command. Fine. And what is the meaning of responsibility? It is the obligation to perform or carry out the assigned task or duty. Okay, so I just write down here, right? Okay, accountability. What is the definition of accountability? Answerability towards final outcome. So I just write down here, and this final outcome is uh, related to the assigned task. Understood? Delegation. So I have already told you that the authority can be delegated. So and about this, I told you that this can be delegated up to some extent only. So I just write down here, right? Means up to some extent the responsibility can be delegated. Delegated means shifted towards the subordinate. Okay. And about this cannot be delegated at all, right? So it cannot be delegated. So here we are seeing from the point of view of the superior. A superior can share his responsibility. He can share his responsibility up to some extent, not completely, but he cannot share his accountability. Understood the point? Okay. Origin. It is created due to the scalar chain, the formal positions, job positions in the organization. So in short, I just write down here the scalar chain. Okay. And it is originated due to the authority delegated. Okay. When some authority is delegated, only then the responsibility is also coming along with this. Okay. And this is originated due to this responsibility. Understood? So it arises from responsibility. It originates from responsibility. Understood? Okay. Flow. The flow of this is what? Top to bottom means from superior to subordinate. And its flow is opposite from subordinate to superior or we can say from bottom to top. And this is also there. Bottom to top. Understood? So now at these points you can compare them. Okay, you have understood where these are having relationship. Okay, what are the relationship? I explain you one more time. See, when authority is delegated, responsibility is also delegated with this. Fine. And just because of the responsibility, accountability is also created. Understood? This is the relationship. Okay. And the differences already we have understood. So this was all about the three elements of the delegation. Now we are going to understand the importance of delegation of authority. Okay, why it is important or necessary in an organization to exercise this concept of delegation of authority. Already I told you in the beginning when I shared the example, but right now we are going to have discussion on this on the basis of some points, right? So let's understand it. So importance of delegation of authority. One more thing I would like to share with you. Why we always say delegation of authority? Why not only delegation? Because the process of delegation starts with authority. When authority is transferred, along with that responsibility goes and along with responsibility, accountability is also created. That is why it is said. Understood? So always remember. Keep it in your mind. Okay. So, importance. Why it is necessary? There are six points. All are written here. Effective management, employee development, motivation of employee, facilitation of growth, basis of management hierarchy, and last, better coordination. To remember all these points together, I have prepared a code. And this time, very easy code I have prepared related to these terms so that you can easily remember all these terms. Okay, with one keyword, you can remember the entire term, right? So I just write down here. The code is effective employee motivates and facilitates hierarchy better. So let me imagine there is one employee who is effective. He can motivate and facilitate the hierarchy means the scalar chain, the all job positions in better way. Understood? So by remembering this code, you will remember all these points. How? This complete effective stands for effective management, 
this employee stands for employee development this motivate stands for motivation of employees this facilitate stands for facilitation of growth and this hierarchy stands for hierarchy basis of management hierarchy and this better stands for better coordination understood so by remembering this term effective employee motivates and facilitates hierarchy better you can remember the all points of importance of delegation of authority together now let's understand these points one by one so the first point is effective management let's understand in the beginning of the video i gave you an example right one top level manager was overburdened and that is why he was not able to focus on the highest priority issue then he had to share his workload with his subordinates right so by delegating the authority what happens the managers can focus on the most prior issues right because manager has various work the top level managers has various jobs a superior has various jobs okay so when he is overburdened he is not able to focus on the more prior issues so when the more prior issues are not being tackled in the stipulated time then what's going to happen then definitely the management is not going to be proved effective if you really want to prove management as effective one then for that all the task and work has to be completed within the stipulated time understood the point so delegation somewhere helps manager to focus on all the required activities and other routine jobs are done by the subordinates right so it means all the jobs are being performed within a stipulated time means effective management is there just because of the delegation of authority understood it also provides freedom to superiors to think something new right they can think creatively they can think about expansion growth diversification starting a new project whatever so it gives freedom to the managers from their routine work and now they have opportunity to think in the new area they have time now earlier they were overburdened and they were not getting time but after sharing their authority and responsibility their workload okay they have time now to focus on other things understood the point so in that way effective management is happening in the organization understood all the things are being completed in time in a smooth manner okay that is what the expected from the organization okay so that is why delegation of authority is important understood the point now let's move on to another point employee development see in earlier point effective management we saw delegation of authority from the eyes of the superior now we have to see the delegation of authority from the eyes of the subordinate okay the one to whom the job is shared right now for this person okay there is a kind of great opportunity to improve himself to show his talent to develop his skills okay he that is not his job but that is the job of his superior in future he may also become superior so right now if he starts performing that activity that duty if he starts developing that skills okay then what's happen he gets prepared for future right he can handle the same position in future that his superior is holding presently okay so it is a kind of opportunity for a subordinate to develop himself okay it gives him a good career prospects fine okay it develops his skills talents gives him a chance to show his creativity innovation okay so from all aspect we see that employee gets chance to develop himself understood so if we see this delegation of authority in the organization in relation to the development of employee then somewhere it is preparing the better leaders for future okay so that is 
the advantage that is why delegation of authority is important. Now let's move on to another point. See, when a job is delegated to a subordinate, then he feels encouraged. He feels more motivated. Okay. He feels that the superior trusts him and that builds some, some more confidence in him. Okay. He gets more prepared to take challenges. So that is what the motivation. Okay, so delegation is somewhere working as a motivation for an employee, for a subordinate. Okay, he tries his level best. He tries to improve his performance from earlier because now he has got more authority, more responsibility, high level job. If he performs better in that, he may expect better promotions and incentives or in future the same position. Okay. So he feels motivated just because of that. Understood the point? Now let's move on to another point. So the next point is facilitation of growth. Facilitate means just to help and support. Just to make things easier. Okay. So if we see from the organizational point of view that a delegation indirectly supports the growth of the organization. How? Let me tell you. See, when continuously some kind of particular jobs of superior are delegated to the subordinates, so subordinates are also getting prepared to handle the job of a superior. If in the absence of superior, they are put on the position of the superior then they can handle the job pretty well right okay so by getting that kind of experience they become advanced and trained in that so delegation somewhere works as a kind of training ground right okay in which a subordinate is being prepared being trained okay with the help and guidance of the superior for the similar position in future if the organization is willing to expand its further units if they are going to launch new project new organization they are going to open they are going to set up further units then they can directly send their subordinates to hold the highest position fine and they can perform their roles pretty well because now they have got the experience of handling such issues Fine. So, delegation of authority is somewhere helping out an organization to grow. It facilitates the growth of the organization. Understood the point? Now, let's move on to another point. So, the another point is basis of management hierarchy. What is the hierarchy? The scalar chain. Okay one superior, then subordinate, then one more subordinate, then this person becomes superior to him. Okay, so this is called hierarchy. And this hierarchy is created because of the delegation. Okay, delegation becomes somewhere the base of creating the hierarchy of the management. Right, just because of that the job positions are clear and authorities are fixed. Okay, so if the subordinates are not there to whom the job will be delegated okay so that is why subordinate has to be there only then the work can be delegated if i alone work in the organization then i do not have any subordinate to share my workload who can perform my activities in my absence okay so that i can focus on more prior issues then the delegation cannot be established Okay, delegation can be established only in the situation when I have subordinate. Okay, so delegation becomes basis of creating the superior and subordinate relationship. In short, we can say the management hierarchy. Understood the point? Now let's move on to the last point of importance of delegation of authority. So the last point is better coordination. Actually what happens as we discuss three elements of delegation, authority, responsibility and accountability. 
so all these three elements somewhere help to define powers duties and answerability okay so these also clarify the duties among the employees okay or to the subordinates so this clarity of the duties somewhere reduces the overlapping of the job and duplication of the efforts so when there is no overlapping of the jobs and duplication of efforts then the coordination is established in better way right the things in the departments can go in a smooth manner things at various levels of management can go in a smooth manner okay and various functions of management can also be performed in the better way we can expect the better coordination between or within the departments at the various levels of management or in the all functions of management and that is possible due to delegation of authority because when a job is delegated when a workload is shared then the duties are clearly defined powers are clearly defined answerability is also clearly fixed so when there is a clarity there is no confusion no duplication no overlapping no wastage of activities better coordination will be established as there is no confusion understood the point so it was all about the delegation of authority today we have finished it very soon i'll be meeting you with the another concept in the same chapter till then thank you bye bye